Oh. Well, if the season wasn't over already, which it absolutely was, it certainly is now. Todd Bowley, Egg Barley, Potter, Lampard, and, and all of the players, as, as Connor's just said on Twitter, thank you. Thank you very much for what has quite honestly been one of, well, no, one of, <laughs> one of. <laughs> the worst, the absolute worst season I have ever witnessed as a, a, a Chelsea fan in all of my nearly 28 years of existence on this planet. I've never seen such a such such a poor display of professionalism from from everyone all considered everything or from from start to finish just an absolute catastrophic piece of footballing business from start to finish from from the from the from the purchases to the wages to the performances to the I don't know if I just said that but still the just everything all all around every single thing the 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 fact that I, and I want to make it abundantly clear if you didn't see my review for this game I gave us no chance whatsoever I was not one of those Chelsea fans that had complete un um unexplainable belief in this team in past teams in the past with with your Drogba's, even last year with your Timo Werner's, who he he if he played today would have given more than a lot of those plays. Truth be told, first half of the game, it was hopeful. I still didn't give us a chance, um, and 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 frankly, with that, I mean the Kante chance of all players to land to, not ideal. Um, I, I still think I don't know if he thought he had time to to you know control the ball and bring it down and uh, you know he definitely did have time to at least take a touch knowing his quality of first touch to uh, to put that in the back of the net. Courtois was unbelievable the whole game, but I, I think a lot of the shots were down the middle. To be honest with you, um, Kukurea pretty much with his chance. It, it, it was so abundantly clear if it wasn't already for those watching that aren't Chelsea fans and that saw it clear as day, like I, I definitely did from the start. And I'm, I'm not again one for set for one second saying I'm the only Chelsea fan that didn't uh, expect us to win. Um, I, I did, however, see us scoring at least one goal in that first half. But then if you go back to what what's happened throughout the season a, a season of of absolute catastrophic errors from 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 defensively like we saw today with Trevor Chalaba who was just completely in no man's land i don't quite i haven't, I haven't seen the game back so i don't know if kukurea was to blame again for that one but i I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt i thought kukurea honestly wasn't um at least at the start wasn't one of the more terrible players um, I don't want to start pointing fingers because people will be like, how can you say like so-and-so was bad when, you know, so-and-so was bad as well. Like Gallagher, you look on your your your, your websites, like your sofa score and your who scored and your, your foot mob and all that sort of stuff. And they, they, they give Gallagher one of the highest ratings for Chelsea, which is absolutely... I don't know what I was watching. If if he is one of the better players today, I don't know what I was watching, quite honestly, which is the theme of the season because it, it is so subjective to, to say that certain players played well. When it, uh, If you're watching the game properly, you'll see. I, I'm just so nervous on the ball. I don't know why he started. I gave Lampard the benefit of the doubt and said, you know... Um, the, the the formation, whilst it uh, it literally looked like an arrow that was pointing towards our goal, that it was basically inviting Real Madrid to score, which they did. Um, I, I said about Lampard maybe going for a formation that allowed for more defensive play in the first half. 
we'll get on to that in a second as to how that boded. Um, and then for in the second half, if we get a, luck, a lucky goal, if we get a fluke goal, if we score a good goal, which Kukurea and Kante definitely had the chances to do so, we could have been 2 0 up at half time which would have made for maybe a little bit more chance of us of, of, of us getting something out of it. But then for the second half, for the second half, you have Mount coming on for Havertz, who, I'm sorry, Havertz wasn't having a terrible game whatsoever. If anything, was more of one of the more, most more, more commanding players on the pitch. Not for, sec for a second saying he had a fantastic game, but he didn't have a terrible game to say at the least. He actually was one of the more, again, one of the strongest players, one of the more commanding players. He gave us plenty of options to bring him off for Mount, who, again, I don't know how, how likely these rumours are, but he's already agreed a, a term with, with, with Liverpool, which, again, you know, going... <laughs> Going round the pitch, giving it all that and all that. I, I, I couldn't give a toss about that at this point in the fucking season. Who cares? Who cares? If he's clapping, oh, we've just gone out of the Champions League. No more Europe. Bye-bye. No more Europe. But, you know, let's clap to that. You know? The fans, I, I, I don't know when it comes to that, if they, if, if the fans at the game, if they really care about that in a game like this. But then Mudrick, even when we were 2-0 down, couldn't finish a, a, a sitter of a chance. The guy is so bad when it comes to one-on-one -on -one chances. It's like he doesn't want to actually score a goal for, a, you know, for a change. Sterling, 350 grand's worth of absolute piss. What does he do? And the fact that we had more chances of scoring, unless I'm mistaken, we looked more like scoring with our ultra defensive side that we had in the first half than we did once we made the sub. And I know, I know, I know we were one nil down right before we were going to make the sub. But, but the fact that the first substitution came in the 67th minute when we are with no attacking players whatsoever in a Champions League quarterfinal second leg when we're 2-0 down, we need at least two goals with no response. And I know we, I know again, I know we conceded and it kind of changed everything, but it shouldn't have taken till the 70th fucking minute to make a substitution and, and bring on those attacking players, which frankly now... Even if we brought them on in the in the tw in the tenth minute, wouldn't have made a fucking blind bit of fucking difference at all. None, not a single bit. The season's done again. It was already done, but the season's over. So again, Todd's, Egbali, and all the rest of your goons, you've absolutely fucking bollocks this team up. So much worse than was ever even remotely conceivable when you first came in. It was never even remotely conceivable that we would be this bad. And again, I don't mean in terms of this game, because again, we were always going to lose. We were, we were never going to, we were never going to win this game in hindsight or even retrospect, in, in, in even thinking like in, in a, ahead of time, I said we weren't going to do it because it doesn't take a fucking brain surgeon to work that out. But the season's done. It was done for a long, long time. We're now Euro European footballers for at least the next year. I don't think we're getting it next year either, as in like the year after next. But again, in the words of Mount, thank you, Todd Bowley and Egg Barley. You've done it. They've done it again. They've done it again. To cap off this season, do you know what time it is? Do you know what time it is? It's hot o'clock. That's what time it is. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, follow, become a member, all that good stuff. I'll see you for the next game. Jesus Christ.